Hi, and welcome to Anne's Family Recipe. Today I'm using my crock pot to make chicken and stuffing. I started by spraying my crock pot really well because the stuffing has a tendency to stick. Then I added two giant chicken breasts. You can also use four regular size or even some chicken tenderloins if that's what you have. Then I seasoned it up to taste with salt and pepper. Next, I'm sprinkling over top of the chicken one box of chicken-flavored stuffing mix. And to me, this tastes just like Thanksgiving. This is probably my favorite flavor in this whole dish. For the creamy sauce, I combined a can of cream of chicken soup with one cup of sour cream. And I mixed it all together in my four cup measuring cup. I like this because it has a spout so I could easily pour it over top of the chicken and stuffing. Then I topped it off with half a cup of water and stirred it thoroughly to combine. I poured this rich and creamy sauce all over the top of my stuffing and chicken. To top it off, I added one bag of frozen green beans. And then I think this crock pot casserole really benefits from some extra liquid, so I like to add in about a cup and a half to two cups of chicken broth. This will keep everything nice and moist as it cooks and ensure that you have lots of delicious sauce when you're ready to serve this up. And that's all of the ingredients. So I put the lid on and I'm gonna set it on high for four hours to cook. About a half hour before we were ready to eat, I prepped my wild rice to have as a side dish with my chicken and stuffing. So for this particular harvest rice blend, which I got at Aldi grocery store, it is a two to one ratio. So I used two cups of liquid, which was chicken broth, to one cup of rice. And then I stirred it together, seasoned it with a little bit of salt, stirred it again just so everything was combined, and then I brought that to a boil. Once this mixture was at a rolling boil, I turned the heat down to low and allowed it to simmer for 20 minutes. When my rice was finished cooking, I fluffed it with a fork and it was ready to serve. Once the crock pot chicken and stuffing had cooked for four hours, I removed the chicken breasts. Now you saw that I started with very large pieces of chicken. If you're preparing one small chicken breast per person, you don't necessarily have to shred it, but I do prefer the texture of the shredded chicken kind of mixed in with everything else. It's just this really comforting casserole. So I just used two forks to shred the meat, pulling it all apart, and then I put it back into the crock pot and used a pair of tongs to stir everything together. So here's my crock pot chicken and stuffing ready to go with a side of wild rice. And I also had some leftover mashed potatoes, so some people in my family chose to have those. Either way, it was absolutely delicious. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram at Anne's Family Recipe. Thank you so much for joining me today in my kitchen, and I'll see you again soon with another family recipe.